Hi, Prosperity Team. This is Dr. Money coming to you from the Prosperity Corner of the Universe where silliness is sacred and nobody's perfect. I am your P.O.P., your Professor of Prosperity, and I'm here so that all of our lives can pop with prosperity. I often talk about changing our mind and looking toward what we have and experiencing enoughness. Now, what happens when we turn our face the other way? Rather than thinking of black as something to be afraid of, what is it like if we actually confront it? What is it like if we just stop in the midst of fear and the experience of what we think is lack and just say, I'm here with this. What's going on? What's driving this? It's like, I'm gonna stay here and check this out. I'm not gonna run. What do I feel like when, it's, when I feel like I'm lacking? When have I felt like this before? When is the earliest memory that I have of feeling this lack and this uneasiness? Just question and ask and stay and confront and face. We want to face our wounds. We don't want to stay there. We don't want to live there, but we don't want to be afraid of that space. We want to confront it with questions, with presence, with feeling, because it's that presence really that begins to fill us up. But if we aren't in the vessel that's empty, then we're just trying to fill up something that won't address this right here. It, this does not negate the need to be optimistic and positive and powerful. However, it does speak to the fact that we don't need to stay there all the time. We need to see what the pain is about sometimes, just part of the time, not all the time, because what we don't face runs us. And we do not want to be run by the fear of black, the fear of lack of money. We don't want that to run us. We can face it without really changing anything in our outside world. We can just stay there and face it. Once we face it, that's a good time to do an affirmation because we're empty and maybe not afraid, hopefully not afraid anymore or not as afraid. <laughs> that's one of the things that I don't like about the shadow side of, of a positive thinking and that is the shadow side often forgets and overlooks and does a spiritual bypass when there's pain. But some people, we may have some real pain and real fear about money and we want to face that. Now, some of that might be real. We might've been through some really tough times and we're afraid they're gonna happen again. A lot of it is just made up because it's, we suffer based on the emotional climate of our culture and we tend to follow that. However, as we begin to face and not resist, what's going on, we begin to move past that. Remember, whatever we resist runs us. And so it's better to face it and then move on, but never be afraid of what we're afraid of. So this is Dr. Money, let's take a deep breath in. And as we breathe in, we breathe in our aliveness and our ability to receive. And as we breathe in, we receive. And as we exhale, we exhale our intention that all other beings receive their good as well. And this is Dr. Money, and I want you to remember one more thing for sure, and that is that I love you. <laughs>